And hey, beautiful people, it's Rakeen. I'm back with another video. So on this video, I want to teach you guys how you can actually build your credit when you're 18 and you're starting off or for those people who haven't built their credit at all. Now, I got this comment on my YouTube channel. Someone says, um, said her name is Aaliyah. She said, I'm 21. I don't have a credit card as I know this. And I'm thinking about using kickoff because my mom told me about it. I'm currently trying to find something legit. Uh, I can start today. So if you guys are like in her situation where you're trying to build your credit, I want to show you guys how you can quickly build your credit. Kickoff could be a good option for you, but let me help you explore like all of your options because it's more than just kickoff out there. And it depends on your situation. You may have more options than you think. So let me start off by saying this. My daughter right now is 14. I added her to my credit card. So I, met, I added her to my American Express. I added her to my Amazon. I added her to my Navy Federal. Um, I also added her to some of my Synchrony Bank cards like Lowe's, Walgreens, you know, those things. Those accounts are reporting to her credit reports now she's 14. So she's technically already building her credit. So if you guys have options of being added to maybe your mom, sister, or somebody that's trustworthy because you don't want them to have late payments or them messing up on their accounts and it rub off on you. But if you have someone where you can be added to their credit reports as like an authorized user or something like that, that would really be perfect for you because that's going to help you actually start building your credit early. Now, when my daughter gets older, when she turns 18 or 18th birthday, I'm going to actually help her apply for her own credit cards. And that may be something that you all have to do if you're already 18. You can start off right now applying for credit cards. She can't do that. That's why Adders are authorized user early. And you guys can do that late too. You guys can start doing that 18 or 21 also, but I added her early so that she can see a great increase in her credit score as she's getting older. And when she turns 18, she can go ahead and apply for her own credit cards. So let me show you a few accounts that you all may want to think about if you're in the stage right now where you're trying to actually build your credit. So if you go to my website, Rakita.com, and you scroll down, you'll see that I have different lists for you. So I have the best credit cards for bad credit. Also have the best credit cards for building your credit. Now, honestly, the building credit and bad credit to me, they're, they could be the same. Um, but to me, the bad credit list is a little bit better than the building credit list because it has more credit cards on there. So let me go over a few of the credit cards that's on this list because some of these credit cards can really help you start building your credit. When it comes down to credit, I suggest that people have at least four credit cards reporting that is their own. Yeah, you can have authorized user credit cards, but I wouldn't count those as like your credit cards, you know, so I would suggest that you get four of your own. So if you're just starting off, they're most likely not going to be able to give you credit cards, but it's a few companies that may give you credit. So a few companies that I will suggest that you guys do when you're in the building stage is think about doing a self account. So self, they have an installment account that will report to the credit bureaus after you get your installment account um, with them where you could pay like $25 per month or 24 months. Every month they're going to report to the credit bureaus. And once you have at least $100 saved and three and it's been at least three months then they'll let you get this Visa card right here. And this can be actually your first credit card. Now, when you get these credit cards, keep the balance low and they'll report to the credit bureaus that you're doing great. And that's going to help your credit score um, get established because you need to first have a credit score and then your credit score will go up after that. So that's a great option. The credit builder card, to me, this is kind of like a last resort. You try the other accounts out there, you can't get any if you're in the building stage, you're just now starting off, this is the last resort. Now, this one right here, you have to put a $200 deposit down on this one. It's a secure one, but they'll report to the credit bureaus, which will help you start building your credit. Remember, you need four credit cards. They'll allow you to get two of them with no credit checks, so they don't care that you don't have credit. So this can also be a great option for you. So think about that one. Now, she mentioned the kickoff. This kickoff could be a great one for you, but just check the fees because kickoff have one where you can pay like $5 per month. Um, I liked it better when it was like $2 per month because $5 per month come out to $60 a year. So I would suggest that you all try to see if you can get one that's cheaper than that. But this is great because it will report to the credit bureaus. But to me, this would be more of a last resort too. They're going to report to two out of the three of the bureaus for their account that's $5 per month. They may offer you a $20 per month account where, where they'll report a $2,500 account to the credit 
um, credit bureaus, but I don't suggest that one at all. I just don't think you need to pay that much. I'll have a, another alternative option for that type of an account. But if you can, just give the five or the two dollars per month. And they also had um, an installment account where you pay ten dollars per month. So definitely check out my videos on the kickoff account. You can also press um, the play button here. All of these accounts have videos attached to them so that you guys can actually get more information about these different accounts. Now, with this kickoff account, they're going to try to tell you to get a service that will give you your credit reports. Now, that's going to be $20 per month. I do not suggest that. And I'm so happy that Aura is actually sponsoring this video because to me, Aura have a better option for you if you care about what's happening with your credit. There's a lot of people that's have, having fraud going on. So if you care a lot about what's happening on your credit, what's actually showing up, then I really suggest that you guys check out Aura. And again, thank you, Aura, for actually sponsoring this video. So Aura, they actually will... They have AI power technology where they're actually able to tell you if you have any fraud going on. They're not just giving you your credit reports, even though you will have them, but they're actually letting you know if you have fraud and they also, also are there giving you a million dollar coverage. And if you ever have fraud, they got 24 seven expert fraud support. So you can call them and they'll actually send you alerts saying, hey, this is possible fraud. So you can just call them and say, hey, I got the email, what's going on? And they'll be able to help you with that. Plus they have a 60 day money back guarantee. But if you guys use my link, aura.com forward slash Rakita, you guys will get the 14-day free trial. So please check it out. And this is what the alerts will look like, you guys. You have a new account detected. When you guys are applying for credit cards, you will get this alert. But if you're not applying for credit cards and you see that you have a new account detected, you need to check right away on what's going on. Or say if you have a freeze on your credit reports and you see that you get this alert that uh, somebody attempted to access your credit, but it was blocked. You need to try to figure out what exactly is going on because sometimes you can have fraud happening and you don't even know about it. But it's great to make sure that you're looking at these different things. And if you're not looking at it, have a company such as Aura on top of it. So again, I love Aura. Definitely check them out. You have a 14 day free trial where they'll be able to get you all set up. You can see exactly what it's all about. Plus, they'll have different things like a VPN. Also, you can protect your family. If you want to add your family on, go ahead and add your family on. And let me know how you guys like Aura. Again, thank you so much, Aura, for actually sponsoring this video. Now, that's my option if you guys are looking to actually get some type of you know, your credit reports, because that's what kickoff thing is. They're like, oh, just pay $20. We'll get you access to your credit reports. No, just go ahead and get the aura because you'll get the actual protection. As you start building your credit, you want to make sure that you protect it. Anything was to happen, you want to make sure you're good. Because once you start putting your social security number in the, on the internet, you have to think about it. Your information could be stolen and people could actually try to access your credit. So make sure you guys do not do the $20 one with kickoff. That's my warning to you all. Now, a few other options is do that Discover is secure. Um, again, you want four credit cards. Discover is secure is a great one. Um, it's something called credit cards graduating. So um, the Discover it. Also, the Navy Federal, they're in rewards, um, secure. And also the Capital One, these are all secure credit cards. They require that you put a deposit down on them. So they may require $200 and some of them go all the way up to $3,000. You can pick how much you want to put down on some of these. Capital One is the max is $200. But listen to this. Once you put that deposit down in about three to about nine months, they're going to give you your money back plus increase your limit. So they just want to see if you're being responsible. Once they see that you're being responsible, then they're going to give you your money back plus increase your limit. So the Navy Federal, their secure credit card does it in about three months. And it, usually around six months, they'll automatically keep looking every month to see if they're able to increase your limit. But this one, you can put a $200 deposit down. It can go to $2,000. So I really suggest this one for sure. But check them out. Again, these credit cards is great for you. And then they do something called uh, pre-qualify you out of, without a hard inquiry. That means that they can let you know whether or not they can give you this credit card without actually getting your full credit report, which is doing a hard inquiry. Once you get a hard inquiry, your credit score is going to go down and you don't want to have a lot of hard inquiries on your credit reports. So you want to limit it. You want 
companies to let you know whether or not they're going to give you that credit card without a hard inquiry. So definitely check those out. If you can't get any credit card, you can definitely get the Open Sky. This is great for people that's trying to um, build their credit after they mess it up also, but they allow you to get up to $3,000. There isn't, there is an annual fee with this one also. It's like $35, but they're going to give you the credit card, no credit check, no hard inquiry. So that's good. And they can start reporting to the credit bureaus, which can actually re increase your credit score very quickly. We have to discover a student Chrome on here also. This is good for those students. Put your student email address on here because you have a greater chance of actually getting approved for that credit card. Credit One Bank, honestly, they have horrible annual fees. Um, if you were to get one with Credit One Bank, just try to get one with fees less than $39. And I say $39 is okay because some people consider paying at $5 a month for kickoff and that's $60 a year. So you might as well say you got a $60 annual fee and you can't even really use the kickoff account. It's not like a real credit account, you guys. It's, you have to research it. But again, if you can get one at $39 or less, then definitely check out the Credit One Bank. Now, these next ones, you may need to have some type of history first, and they may have horrible annual fees. So if you can pre-qualify for one, go ahead and get it. But the, the annual fee is horrible. Don't do it. Please don't do it. And that will be the Mission Lane. That will also be the Prosper credit card milestone credit card, Indigo credit card, and the Destiny credit card. So all of these cards, they can have horrible annual fees, but definitely double check to see if these are good for you. Now, in that situation, remember I said you can be added as an authorized user on someone else's credit card. If you have that option and you do it, in instance, my daughter, when she does that, she's going to have some excellent credit. I'm going to start telling her to go ahead and get those credit cards that you will hope to get. So I would tell her to pre-qualify with Navy Federal for her own credit cards at this point. I will also tell her to um, apply for some American Express of her own, even though she's under mine. I will also um, tell her to check to see if Capital One can give her credit because when you guys have authorized user accounts on your credit reports, you have a greater chance of actually getting approved for credit cards too because you're going to already have a credit score established. And in her case, she's going to have these reporting for a while because she's 14 and she technically have um, a little over three years, about three and a half years and she'll, until she'll turn 18. So she's going to have a lot of history build up on these cards, plus the history that I have with just having them for so long. So definitely make sure you all get at as authorized user. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And thank you again or for sponsoring the video. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out the website and get the 14-day free trial. I'll see you guys in the next video.